Hi guys, it's Joanne from 15 Spatulas. Today I am super excited to show you one of my absolute favorite cookie recipes. We are going to make a peanut butter sandwich cookie with peanut butter buttercream. So this cookie was inspired by a nutter butter that I had at a really famous bakery here called Bouchon Bakery. It's run by Thomas Keller, who's this world famous chef. And when I tasted this cookie, it was good, but honestly there are a few things that I wanted to change that I thought would make it better. So this is my own homemade version. It is absolute heaven. I think you're gonna love it. Um, but before I share the recipe with you, I just wanted to share some really good news with you um, really quickly. Uh, as you guys know from a video I shared several months ago, I had a tumor around my appendix and I had to have that removed um, and a major surgery. And I think I said in the video that kind of leading up to it and um, shortly after, all the doctors kept saying that it was like probably benign um, and I had nothing really to worry about that maybe it'd be precancerous, but like almost certainly was not cancer. And when they did the pathology after they removed my tumor and they cut it up and looked at it, it was not benign. <laughs> um, I had this really rare type of cancer in my appendix. Um, and the thing that was not good about that is my tumor had ruptured before my surgery and spread fluid all over my abdomen. So for the past several months, I've seen so many doctors and gone to so many hospitals to have my case evaluated because there were some doctors who were advising me to have chemo to kill any cells that were possibly still there. Um, and then there were some doctors telling me not to do chemo because there are too many risks involved. So uh, I had my first CT scan since my surgery and it came up clean. Oh, yay! No new tumors and um, the team of doctors I've been seeing, they said that as long as it keeps coming up clean, this should be over. So um, I'm just really, 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 really glad that it's over. Um, I'm so grateful for all of your support. Again, it's been a crazy few months. I had one doctor who was telling me that I should freeze eggs if I ever wanted to have children so I could prepare for chemo. It's just been uh, crazy bad stuff the past few months. Um, but. It's over, I have good news and I'm relieved. Um, so I just wanna share that with you as an update and thank you again for um, all your support. I'm more grateful than you know. So, yay! Let's celebrate with some cookies. <laughs> So relieved. Okay, so for this cookie recipe, I've got a stick of unsalted butter here that's softened to room temperature. And to this, I'm going to add a half cup of peanut butter. So for the cookies, I'm using a chunky peanut butter because I really love those little pieces of peanuts just for that extra crunch. But if you have creamy, you go ahead and use creamy. So I'm gonna take my hand mixer and I'm just gonna mix this on medium high speed for about 30 seconds until it's combined and fluffy. Next I'm gonna add in a half cup of granulated sugar and a quarter cup of packed brown sugar. I'm just gonna mix those in next. Next I'm gonna add in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm gonna add in one egg as well. And I'm just gonna beat that in. For my dry ingredients, I've got a three quarter cup of all purpose flour in my bowl here. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I'm gonna whisk that together to combine. And then I'm just gonna add my flour mixture to the wet ingredients. We're just gonna mix that together until the flour just disappears. Now you're gonna take a medium cookie scoop. You're gonna portion out little scoops of cookie dough onto a still pat or parchment lined baking sheet. And we're gonna bake this in a 350 Fahrenheit oven for about 13 minutes until the cookies are golden brown on the edges. While we wait for the cookies to cool down, I'm gonna start my peanut butter buttercream filling. I've got a stick of unsalted butter at room temperature here. I'm gonna add in a half cup of peanut butter, and this time I'm doing creamy, just cause I really like that smooth, creamy filling, and I don't want those chunks of peanuts here. So I'm gonna take my hand mixer, and I'm just gonna beat this for about 30 seconds until it's combined and fluffy and light. And then I'm gonna add in a cup of confectioner's sugar. 
Mix that in. And then the last touch, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of milk, just to thin it out a little bit. My cookies are all cooled down and my buttercream is all set to go in a piping bag. Uh, you don't have to pipe the buttercream, you can just take a spoon and spread it in between two cookies. But this is just a little bit prettier and this is how they did it at Bouchon Bakery. So I've got this fitted with a star tip. I'm just gonna take one of my cookie halves I'm just gonna pipe the buttercream onto one of these sides. Then I'm gonna take another half, just press that on top, let it be a sandwich cookie. And there you go, you got a beautiful peanut butter sandwich cookie. I cannot wait to taste this, ugh. Mmm. Mmm. This is like every possible way to enjoy peanut butter in one bite. I got the creamy, almost like mousse-like buttercream filling. I got the little chunks of peanuts and the peanut cookie dough. It is so good, you guys. If you love peanut butter desserts, definitely wanna make this one. Hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.